Hey guys, Mona here bringing you week 2 of the World Showdown series. This time we're facing Dips and the Orlando Mudkip. I'll leave the, the link in the description for his channel, he's a great guy. And he has a really really scary team. Uh, if you didn't see the video of my team builder, I'll leave it in the description too. Uh, we're bringing Embor, Hydreigon, Rotom, Azumarill, Jirachi and Mega Blastoise. Now quick before I start um, going into the sets and why I think about my lead in the match. I gotta say that uh, unfortunately, there was, unfortunately there was a problem at the beginning of the match and Azumarill can have Whirlpool plus Sapsipper in the same set. So for those you noticed in the Team Builder video, I'm sorry, I didn't know it and now I know it and uh, I had to change it at the beginning. At first uh, when I sent the challenge to Deeps I realized that there was a problem. So our match was rescheduled a lot of times in the week, uh, it was uh, late, late in Friday's night, so I couldn't make him uh, wait more. I just switched uh, knockoff instead of Whirlpool, uh, leaving Paris on there because in case Snorlax begin to set up or maybe a Dragon Dance Charizard begin to set up. And I left Subsipper too because uh, Manaphy was a threat and I couldn't, uh, I didn't have a good switch in if, if Assumer was not there with Sub Zipper, so yeah, uh, the match didn't uh, begin so well for us in that uh, point. But uh, I mean, at the end, I really I was confident about my team, and uh, yeah, um, nothing much to say about that. So now, after that, uh, going into the match, um, a quick recap: Embor is a salt best, max HP, max adamant, uh, max attack with an adamant nature. Uh, I think Wild Charge, Sucker Punch, uh, Fire Punch, and Super Power. High Dragon is a Life Force set uh, with Roost, Rayquel Meteor, Dark Pulse, and uh, Super Power. Not, not a good switch into High Dragon as you'll see. I mean, there's no resistance. There's a lot of both in this team, but uh, not, not a good resistance. Uh, I think it, I have enough uh, max speed to outspeed the Haxorus in case he decided to bring it. I have Rotom there, uh, Choice Scarf Rotom with uh, Thunderbolt, Bolt Switch, Shadow Ball, and Will O Wisp. Uh, enough speed just to outspeed the 100 base uh, um, Pokemon, uh, speed Pokemon he has, like Manaphy and Charizard. Asumarill, the set uh, knockoff, play rock, Parish Sun, and Protect with Sub Zipper. Really bulky, I think it is relaxed nature with uh, a little bit of attack investment to have a chance of one hit KO in Hitmully. Uh, Jirachi is a calm mindset with substitute leftovers, Skull Rock, and just Psyche. Uh, actually, uh, Jirachi has a lot of potential as you see as you see in the match, and it will be my main win con uh, for this game. And last but not least is Mega Blastoise with Ice Beam, uh, Surf, uh, I think Aura Sphere, yeah, Aura Sphere, and Rapid Spin with a lot of bulk too. And I didn't need the speed. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want to see more details, I'll uh, I'll leave the team builder in the in the video in the description. And yeah, Deeps decided to bring uh, Mega Charizard Y, Venusaur, Snorlax, uh, Tentacruel, Steelix, and Hitmonlee. So a lot of things I expected. Uh, glad I'm not seeing as uh, Manaphy. Glad I'm not seeing uh, Haxorus. And though I think this team makes a lot of sense against me. Um, as for my lead, I thought about leading with Rotom, but I didn't want Steelix to come to um, uh, to lead also, and that would be a problem. Also, I was scared about Charizard Wise, so I decided to lead with Embor. Uh, also, before starting, uh, I gotta say shout outs to Bob and Pichu Bros for helping me with the thumbnails in this uh, in this season. Really, really, I'm uh, really appreciated, guys, and thank you, thank you a lot. Also, uh, shout outs to Pan and the league for uh, this sick layout that I'm using now. I promise you guys um, some editing uh, uh, stuff in this video. Uh, and I mean, I'm trying to get used to it. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving the league. I'm loving all of, all of it. And okay, uh, after that, now we can start with the match. As I said, I'm gonna lead with Embor. He's gonna lead with Tenerco. And I don't want to hit him hard with the wall charge uh, in turn one, so he's gonna switch. Uh, I mean, scared about maybe a choice card set. As he brings Steelix, I'm gonna bring Girachi. 
trying to catch maybe the the Venusaur in the in the attack, but he uh, is gonna bring this Steelix, so I'm, I, I cannot stay in. I cannot take a, an earthquake from this thing. I'm gonna switch into Hydragon, trying to put some pressure uh, to him with the Dark Pulse as he's switching to Snorlax. With that damage, I can say that this thing is really bulky and that it's his answer to, to my High Dragon, actually. So I cannot touch it. I don't want to superpower it uh, because I cannot uh, two-hit KO it. I'm going to switch into Asu because it is my my defensive mod this time, as weird as, it's, as weird as it sounds. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting quite, quite nicely here. I'm going to go just for the knockoff uh, as he reveals the hit rock. Now Sunny Day is, uh, still looks really cool, dude. really great set I think for Venusaur and Charizard. I'm gonna switch because I don't wanna... I cannot touch this thing as he goes for the Toxic on my Mega Blastoise. With this I put a lot of offensive pressure against him so I'm, I'm expecting to... I expect him to switch as I go for the Rapid Spin. And uh, Snorlax uh, really bulky and really annoying as you'll see in the match. Uh, I'm gonna switch now again because I, can, I cannot to hit KO this thing. With the Aura Sphere, bringing Asu again, no power with the Body Slam, so that's nice. And now, uh, Snorlax is almost at full health, so that's uh, really annoying. I'm gonna make a double predicting the Steelix uh, to wanna come in, and now I can fire off a Dark Pulse, but no. I'm gonna go for the Super Power, because I wanna see the damage on this thing. It's a 55%, it's not a 2-hit KO, but now I know um, more details about this set from the Snorlax. And I'm gonna switch into my Rotom, predicting the Body Slam. Now, I knew he had Crunch, uh, probably, so I'm gonna go for the will o but I miss. And this is also unfortunate, like, not, the things are not going right for me since the, as you said, now the will o miss. missed. He's gonna go for the Crunch, doing a lot of damage. With the Burn, he's gonna attack me again, doing 27% damage. So, as you see, with the Burn at previous, uh, at previous turns, my Maxwell uh, was going to be at uh, half health and that will help a lot. He's gonna rebuild the refresh, which is really cool also, a uh, really cool prep from his part. Uh, Roger puts a lot of pressure on him, so he's gonna switch. I go. I went for a wild charge predicting the tentacle, but he went to Steelix. Now here I, I knew he probably wouldn't expect me to stay in, he wants rocks in, on, on my side of the field. So I just attacked, doing a lot of damage to this Steelix. Now here I predicted the Earthquake, but he went for the Toxic and Maxwell is down. This is really annoying for my team because now I'm a little bit more scared with the Rocks and without Maxwell with the Charge or Y and also with the Hitman because now he can just click a high jump kick and destroy my team. So obviously the Will always miss matter, the, the, the Crunch uh, made a lot of damage. And yeah, I mean, this is not looking well for us. Now, I'm gonna bring Mo because at this point I was uh, thinking that he maybe didn't have an uh, Earthquake because he didn't show it before, uh, but he has it and I revealed Substitute which is unfortunate now he may think that I have a Calm Mind. But he continuously go for the Earthquake as I bring a Blast to his team. I'm gonna go for the Aura Sphere because Steelix was really annoying my team also and I wanna get rid of it. And down goes the Steelix getting another kill for Mega Blastoise. At this point I couldn't switch, I didn't wanna switch into my Embor. And he's gonna go for a Nair Slash. Now, in the team prep video of, uh, from last time, I didn't talk about Air Slash and, that's, and that was because I didn't remember about Air Slash which is really problematic for my Ember too. Now, Charizard Y just shits on my team. It's a really a good mon against me. Um, he outprepped me, and uh, I realized at this point this was gonna be a really, really tough match to win. Um, anyway, my only play was to go again, go to Ember. I know he will probably fear the Assault Best at this point, so he's gonna switch into Tentacruel, he didn't have a good switch in at this point. So I just went for the wall charge, knocking out the Tentacruel. And now I'm 70%, the Air Slash is a roll, but he decides to bring to bring Venusaur. Now Venusaur needs a lot of attack investment to knock me out with, with, uh, with to knock out my Embor. And he has it, he has it and I needed to, I, I couldn't switch because I didn't want to raise my High Dragon at, at that point. Uh, it was my maybe only reliable switch into Charizard Y. 
and or my only answer to it if if he if he didn't have a dragon pulse. So I needed to stay in, uh, but he made a, another good uh, prep from his part, putting a lot of investment in, in Venusaur, and with the sun, he's gonna outspeed and knock my Embor. Now I can leave in a sludge round from Venusaur, and I want to try to knock him out with the with the um, Draco Meteor as I will do. But my High Dragon is now dead, and yeah, I mean at this point I have nothing uh, nothing left for my for this Charizard. Why? He's, I'm gonna go into Asu and trying to maybe I mean with this protect I ensure uh, my life against an air slash attack and with the 51% and I'm I can do uh, some damage with the with the knockoff but he has flame tower he, he, he doesn't have a fire blast my only way of winning at that point was he even did the burn, which is uh, quite a unfortunate on my part, but at that point it didn't matter, like I, I only had Psychic and my only way of winning was it, if he missed the flamethrower, I went for a Calm Mind and I gained the speed type, I, I think I also needed a, a crit to uh, destroy the with the Psychic this, this uh, charge or why. So yeah guys, I mean that's gonna be the game and uh, nothing much to say. GG did uh, obviously your team is scary as hell for my team and a really really cool prep from your part man like I'm not even mad because I think you out prep me and outplay me all the match and I mean it, yeah congrats man like a really 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 uh, uh, cool prep and good good game for you man uh, unfortunately unfortunately the Monterey Jarados we are going to go one and one now and um, I mean it's fine I prefer the loss to come at this point of the season and not at the end of the season when we will be probably try to go to catch some wins for the playoffs. So yeah, I mean, it's fine, it's fine, we're, go we're gonna try to, to overcome this and next week we're facing Penn and the Dublin City Umbrians, uh, the creator of the league himself. So that should be a really, really fun, uh, fun match. He's I think 0 and 2, so he will definitely will want to win and try to catch some of us that are one and one this is also going one and one after this win and um, just to say i mean obviously it was unfortunately that uh, uh, my uh, mistake in the prep with the whirlpool and and sub zipper set it was unfortunately that this uh, this game didn't uh, begin so well for me also the uh, the willow wisp miss was clutch i think in my opinion even though he out prepped me with the set of snorlax it was too bulky for me. Also, the Steelix set was cool too. And yeah, I mean, nothing much to say. I mean, I'm really, I'm really uh, surprised about the way you play, the way you prep. And I'm glad you got the win. Uh, actually, like I, I like to to get some losses like this. Like they, they help me more than a win, you know. So yeah, I mean, that's all I gotta say. And next time we'll, we'll be facing Pen. I'll see you in that video. And if you enjoy, please leave a like and uh, subscribe. Shoutouts to Pichu Bros, to Bob, to Pen again for all the sick layouts and help with the thumbnails. And yeah, guys, I mean, if you enjoy, also leave a comment if you think something about my team, something I can uh, uh, I can change from the team, maybe. I don't know. We're, we're in the beginning of the season. We can make some changes. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.